Yo, what's up? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make 100 Gex type music. However, a lot of these techniques will apply to Hyperpop in general and artists like Glaive and Breakin. So I put together this little Hyperpop vibe that we're going to be going over today, and this is what it sounds like. The first thing we're going to be talking about today are the vocals. Can't get you out my head. I want you on my body. Stuck up in my bed. Cause you my little shoddy. We could go fast. Oh my gosh. Thank God we have a fix. First thing I did for this vocal was throw some tune on that bit. Throw some tune on that bit. We got metatune. Just set the key of the song. F sharp major. Fast as hell. Speed. Big amount. Big tune. Once you do that, you get a nice little tune sound. Can't get you out my head. I want you on my body. So for the processing, we just got that CLA vocals. Can't get you out my head. I want you on my body. Stuck up in my bed. Cause you my little shoddy. A lot of room noise, but fuck it. It's hyper pop. It can sound shitty and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? One thing you want to do with hyper pop is to make your vocals dirtier. And one way I like to do that is with isotope trash. And we got that gentle push, a little bit of saturation, drive turned up, mix all the way up. Can't get you out my head. I want you on my Then we got another version of trash doing some even more, some clip control distortion. Just slight mix that drive can't get you out my head oh yeah that just takes it up a notch then fresh air giving it that crispy top end can't get you out my head i want you on my body oh yeah that's it right there then if you want to get that kind of chipmunky type high pitch sound i just use a little altar boy pitched up 12 form at six turned up that drive knob and then i wanted to kind of blend it together so i just changed the mix knob to around 30 percent can't get you out my head I want you on my body Stuck up in my bed Cause you my little shoddy And just for a quick thing That little chop sound All I did was take shoddy Cut up that And then just literally chop it up Just like you see it So that's how you get those little Stutter type effects And when you do that Make sure to apply fades as well Otherwise you might get some Clicking sounds That you really don't want That's what I did for this Build up kind of part as well a little bit of Valhalla Supermassive, just a little delay. And then for this part, right here, I just chopped up Shardy and then went over here to the clip transposition and then just draw you a little point and make it a little line up. And so it gives you this effect. Oh yeah, just like that. Next thing I want to talk about are the instruments and more specifically the sound design for those instruments. I know a lot of people are intimidated by sound design, but I want to show you that it doesn't have to be that crazy. All this is, is you got a basic shapes and it's just a sine wave. Turn the unison 16 voices, detune up. We got this bright noise going on and analog right here. We got this LFO. You just want to make a shape like that and it sets a bar trigger. And so you want to set that to your level and then the level of your bright noise. Here's this with no effects. And then you kind of just want to fuck it up a little bit more. And so to do that, we got that distortion. Woo, that multiband and that reverb. I did something really similar for this kind of lead in the hook. I think that's a very similar sound. Yeah, see the shape's almost the same, but instead of using a saw wave, I used a square wave. That's literally the only difference. Just a little different pattern. Next, I want to talk about the bass. This is really important in these hyper pop type beats. A lot of times you'll have a couple different layers. So for the first one, I just used a fat sub, like that big boy, like that shit that you just like walk up to and you're like, damn. We got this basic shape, down two octaves, sine wave, got a little bit of distortion here, drive up, mix all the way up. Then we got the saturator. And see this next layer though is the magic layer. Woo. Almost the same thing as before, but the key that I changed here was adding a different LFO to the octave. Here's what it sounds like without that. See, it kind of just sounds flat, but when you make this little shape on an LFO right here, and then you drag it on the octave, it kind of pitches up for a second and then back down. Yeah, so it kind of just adds some more like Game Boy type stuff. You know what I'm saying? EQ'd out the lows to make room for the sub, and then I printed it to audio, and there was some noise in here that was kind of messing it up, so I just chopped it out, and here's what we got. Here's what all the instruments sound like together. Next thing I want to talk about are the drums. Here's what the drums sound like soloed. For the snare, we got this Eliminate Snare mouse pad. We got a couple different kick layers here. We got one that's just this kind of 
knock kind of sound and that's some eliminate kick and then for the body of the kick we got this cody blade kick and here's what they sound like together so those are just serving as a nice little groove on the second half we went from this kind of steady hat pattern right here to more of like a trap kind of the rest of the jumps happen on the build up and those are just a couple of different layers first is this clap Kind of just doing that fun little EDM type thing. And then the 2U snare from the 100 Gex pack. And to make that kind of pitch up sound, all I did was go over here to the snare, go to controls, right click on transpose, show automation, and then just draw a little curve just like this. So it just pitches upwards. The next type of sounds on these kind of beats are transitions and effects. And so for some of these, I we got a down lifter, we got an up lifter. Go oh, 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 oh. It's a little snappity snap. Something I love to do a lot is to take big kicker stomp sounds and reverse them right before the drop, just to make the drop hit a little bit harder. So the way I did that here was take this 800 dB kick and then just reverse it by hitting R, drop it, give it a little fade. Kind of just like, whoop, kind of whips it. You know what I'm saying? Just like that crazy shit. And so one more time, this is what it sounds like overall. <laughs> That's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and stuck around. If you want to see more of this kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Your boy's really trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year. Also, if you have any video ideas or things that you want me to go over, make sure to let me know in the comments so I can knock those out for y'all. Regardless, hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's week. Keep vibing, making dope music, and I'll see y'all next time. Love you.